Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a podcast website with Wix. Wix is one of the best website builders around and you can get started for completely free. All you will need is just your email address. So you can sign up and create your account. After you have done that, you're going to tap on create new site. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on create on Wix editor. After selecting create on Wix editor, I want you to tap on set up without AI. Once you have done that, you're going to be redirected to a new page. On the search bar, you're going to type in podcast. So from here, you can see different options, whether you'd like to create a sports blog and podcast or travel blog on podcast, you can see the different options right there. But we're just going to be selecting general podcast. Then we're going to tap on next. After tapping on next, you can see the different templates that you can choose from. So you could scroll down and select a template of your liking. As you can see, there are multiple options that you can select. So let's say, for example, we were to select this one, which is a food blog and podcast, and we're going to tap on edit. After selecting edit, you're going to give it a few seconds while the AI composes our website in the background. And then tap on generate site text and the Wix AI will compose articles that you can use on your website. If you don't want to do that, you can tap on the X to close the pop up. Then you are going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Now this is how our website looks at the moment. So you can see it right here. We can start editing it by hovering over whichever section we want. Then tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. After you have selected quick edit from here, if you would like to change the title, you could tap on the title. So let's say I want to change it to simple answers. I can do that real quick. As you can see right there, you can also change the logo by simply tap it right where you see image. You could do that. After you're finished, you can tap on the X. And from there, you can continue making your changes. So let's say, for example, we would like to edit this section. You can hover over it, then tap on quick edit. Once you have tapped on quick edit from there, if you would like to change the background, you can do that by selecting section background. You can also change the layout and you can also manage the different posts that have been added to your website. And if you would like to add something that you don't see at the moment on your website, all you'll need to do is tap on the plus in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you'll see numerous elements that you can add. So if it is a case that you would like to add a pop up or any type of form, you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option. You could select interactive. Then from there, you could select Lightbox as this is what Wix calls their pop ups. And you could add any one of these pop ups as you can see right there. Now to view all the pages on our website, all you'll need to do is tap on the third icon from the top left hand corner. From here, you could tap and you'll see right there. You can see the blog pages and you can see the posts. The next thing I want you to do is you're going to hover over a site in the top left hand corner. Then from here, you're going to tap on my dashboard. Then we'll tap on save site. So let's save the site real quick. We'll tap on save and continue. Then we're going to do that once more. Once it has been saved, we'll tap on done. After doing that, you'll hover over site once more and you're going to select my dashboard. So on the dashboard, you're going to scroll down from the left hand menu option and you're going to hover over apps. Then you're going to tap on manage apps. After selecting manage apps, you will see all of the apps that are currently added on your website. And you'll also realize that the Wix podcast player has been automatically added. All you'll need to do is tap on open. Once you have tapped on open, you'll now be able to upload your first podcast. Once on the editor page, once more, you can see right here, you have the option to connect RSS. So you could tap on connect RSS. After you have done that, you could add your RSS feed link right here. 
and you'll be able to add all of your episodes. You can also change the layout by tapping on layout. From there, you can change the design. You can also tap on design right here and you'll have even more editing options. And by tapping on links, if you would like to connect your RSS feed or if you would like to connect your Apple podcast, you can also connect your Spotify podcast, as you can see right there, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud. You can see that your numerous integration options that you have right there that you can add quite quickly. And this is where it will be displayed, as you can see a sample right here. So any changes you would like to make, you can simply hover over this section. And as I said earlier, you can quickly add all of those that I told you by simply tapping on settings. Once you are finished, you'll tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.